Hi guys, just a brief overview of uh, what I'll be covering today. So I'll be looking into effective lengths and uh, the KL factor. So that's within segments or segment ends and uh, basically how to use the AS4100 code to find these values. So effective lengths, the uh, easiest way to start working with them is to think of them in terms of segments. I'll explain what that means as um, uh, later in this video. And uh, the important thing to remember is that we must be told where we have full restraints. Uh, that could be provided, uh, for example, by purlins. Uh, they have a spacing, for instance, of 1.2 meters. So if we're told that uh, sort of spacing or value, we can use that information to um, base our length uh, and use the uh, appropriate factors to find effective length. So A is 4100, 5.6.3 uh, is the code where we can find how to find effective length. And I've got the uh, copy of the uh, standard here. So as we can see, the effective length uh, of a segment or sub-segment shall be determined as follows. So K, T, K, L, K, R, and L. I'll be going through each of these factors in this video. Uh, but I just want you to sort of appreciate the concept of the segment that I mentioned. Now, uh, just something I want to quickly touch on is a web side plate connection, just to help you appreciate some of the forces and uh, restraints. So if we have a force coming in in this direction, this will be providing some, this connection here will be providing some uh, lateral restraint against that force at this connection, sorry. And, uh, if we have it sort of twisting sort of motion, this this connection will provide a restraint against that as, as well.